It's 2024 and they still trying to play us. I'm gonna say that again like Dr. Umar. It's 2024 and they still trying to play us. Think about this. If his cousin would have never made that TikTok, we would have never known about this. If his cousin would have never made this TikTok about Javion, we would have never known about this. That's why I say when it comes to local news and stuff like that, people gotta talk because it's only gonna hit the local news. It's never gonna hit CNN and stuff like that. And shout out to Taylor House Publishing, man. He been all over this case from the jump. I'm talking about walking in the neighborhoods, talking to the people, everything. I'm gonna put his picture to his page right here. Go subscribe to his channel and watch the videos. I'm telling you, he solved the case. Now see, they wanted you to think that Javion went to Walmart and brought a rope to do that to himself. I'm gonna tell you something, I have a rope. And I made a video, I'm gonna put that up too. I made a video. He brought the rope to work out. He put the, the rope on the fence because they said it was tied to the fence. And he was doing pull-ups. And he parked his trailer, I think the company was TNR. I'm gonna put that up also. And they got mad at him. And according to Taylor House Publishing page, he said that they began to fight. And then that's when everything escalated. Now, it's no way in hell that this page should have a 4.8 stars. I need everybody to get in their reviews because I know they got cameras. Why no footage coming out? Where the footage at? So we can't get no footage. I need my people to get in their reviews. Ain't no way they should have 4.8. And a, and a young black man, a truck driver, man, just started life, passed away on their property. And you had another truck driver say he's seen them on a the property. They took pictures. And KLLM Transport, you're not out of this. See, they based out of Mississippi. And if you know anything about Mississippi, racist, racist, racist. See, these companies out of Mississippi, you cannot trust them. So you really think that they're gonna give the footage over and show the footage? No, they're not gonna do it. They all tied in together. Cops, KKK, they are a team. So you think they own, you think that owner of KLLM Transport is gonna put the footage out? No, they all on the same team. Don't trust them. If you drive for them, don't trust them. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not saying don't drive for them. Uh, I'm not saying don't go to them. I'm just saying don't trust them. Because why nobody else putting out footage? Why the only footage we got is him leaving out of Walmart? Think about that. So they trying to blame him because the dead man can't talk. That's crazy. That's crazy. They saying that he had gave a homeless man 200 something dollars. Let me tell you something about a truck driver. Hold on, let me put this up. Let me tell you something about a truck driver. I don't care how homeless somebody is. We are not giving somebody 200 and something dollars. It's not happening. It's not happening, especially these times in trucking. We are not doing it. So as soon as I heard that, I said, wait, this BS. And that's how I know that they were slow. They were slow, it, it, it didn't make sense. Somebody that took pictures said they passed by and they heard him saying, just let me call my mother. Just let me call my mother. Ain't that crazy? But he ain't know, it, it was a setup from the jump. They already had their mind set on what they was gonna do. And people telling me that it's not a sun, it's not a sundown town. People telling me that Henderson, North Carolina is not a sundown town. It don't matter if it's 75% black people, it don't matter. When you got a sheriff like this, look at him. Look at him, he can't be trusted. He one of them, he on their team. Long as he getting paid, he on their team. He's not gonna go against them. Even though he's our color, he's not going against them. That's the perfect set. Put him in, put him as sheriff to make it look like, oh, we're not racist. But like this man said in one of Taylor House publishing videos, the racism is undercover. It's undercover racism. It's there. And most of your KKK members, they are judges, they are police officers, they work 
they work all together, man. That's why I say even that trucking company he was driving for, KLLM, they working together with him too. They from Mississippi. They based out of Mississippi. Who team you think they on? Think about that. But I'm so happy, bro, that Taylor House, Taylor House Publishing got the proof. When I say proof, he got the videos, the pictures. People sent him everything, and it's everything I said. First of all, it wasn't no poor man outside of Walmart. And he gave him $200. That, that was stupid to even lie about. Secondly, he dropped his trailer off on, on TNR property, and, and they didn't say nothing about it. it was a fight. Where's the video? The rope was on the fence. He was working out with the rope. Not everybody saying, oh, he bought the rope to do it to himself. The dude was working out. These days, you got ring cameras. They got cameras everywhere. It's cameras everywhere on cars. With the Julio Fulio case, they was tracing them while they was driving on the interstate. They saw them minute by minute. So you telling me when it comes to a, a, a white cops unaliving a black man that is no footage. The only footage you got is of him buying rope. Come on, bro. I'm smarter than that. It never made sense. And my grandmother always told me if something don't make sense, if if, if your gut feel funny, it's not it's it's not real. It's a lie. And a lot of people in my comment section are saying. The sun downtown just because it's 75 percent that means nothing you could have five white cops they run the whole thing still they control everything that come out of there in and out from day one i knew it was those cops man and this a new generation this a new time we not letting nothing slide and this only part one this only part one because it's a lot to this it's a lot of history. It's a lot of racist history in Henderson, North Carolina, in the whole state of North Carolina when it comes to slavery. And we not letting this slide, man. That man was 21 years old, just started his trucking career, just started life. And you think we're about, you think we're about to let you, cause I know y'all watching. You think we're about to let you unalive this young man and get away with it? And I can't let it go down. I can't. Even though I can't be there, I'm still going to help out the younger truckers. I'm still going to make my people alert. And we not letting this case go until something is done. I'm not letting it go. I'm not letting it go. Every week, every week in 2025, if nothing done, I'm still talking about it. I'm not letting it go. They got me for life. Those cops, they got me for life. I'm not letting this go. Y'all can let it go. Y'all can move on to P. Diddy. Y'all can move on to all these celebrity talk. Man, forget that shit. This is real life. Some of you got kids who are 21 years old that's about to get their CDL license and they're about to hit the road. Also, tomorrow I'm making a video about how to tell you in the sundown town. And we starting early. I'm dropping two videos tomorrow. We starting early because... A lot of truckers don't know. When they're young, they can't read the signs, man. And, and it hurt me because I was once that young dude. You don't see the signs. People staring at you and you don't see it because you're young. You, 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 know, you don't have enough experience in the world. So, man, I just wish I knew him, man. Because a lot of truckers talk. We talk on the phone and stuff like that. I wish I knew him, bro, because this shit wrong. And they got to pay for it. I'm out.